So we can also use try to test if a particular string corresponds with a certain regular expression. This is useful for testing stuff like whether um, something returned a URL or something returned a correct phone number or something like that. And there's plenty of regular uh, expressions that we can use. So I just have a simple string here and I have a simple regular expression, which is just the it literally a text so a string literal and what this match method essentially does is it runs the regex.test method with that string on this regular expression and um, if it returns true this test will pass otherwise it will fail and as the first argument you give the string that you want to test second argument you give the regular expression which we um, declared right here and the third argument is a an error message to display when it fails so I just put string fail to match regex if I run this now, we can see that um, this right here returned false because this I can run is not in the string. So it, 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 this would have returned false. Um, therefore, this fails and you can see that string failed to match with the regex. Now, um, if I change this to something like um, I can wait, which we know is in this right here, um, and then we run this, we can see that this uh, returned true, which means that this string did match with this regex and um, we can see that this test is therefore passed. The opposite method to this is the not match method. And that basically, uh, if, 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 that, if the not match fails, that means the string um, did match the regex. And what this does is if, if the regex.test with that string returns false, this method will pass. So if I run this now, we know that this I can wait is in here. So this regex.test re returned true, therefore this failed. Um, if I change this back into um, I can run, which we know will fail this, and this will return false, and we run this again, we can see that um, this returned false and this test is now passed. So let's look at the challenge now. Um, again, this is a very simple example, but regex can be a lot more complex than this. Um, so we have to either give the match method or the not match method to these tests to make them pass. So we have this format uh, people function right here and what it does is it returns this name here and then name and then age here and then age so the first one we have John Doe and 35 and this this regex basically just tests if um, if this um, name has been presented like this and then this if this age has been presented like this so it tests if the name is given as um, a string and it tests if this age is given as a number so in this first one if we run the format people we'll get name and then john doe as a string and then age and then 35 as a number right here and it's in this numerical format by the way not in a string format or or with letters so if we give this to match, this should work. The second one we have is we have this name Paul Smith the third. That's fine. That's a string. But we the um, age right here is twenty four and it's written out using um, letters and not digits. So if we give this to the uh, not match method, this should pass because this won't match this regex right here. Um, that should be everything really. So I can go ahead and oops. I can go ahead and share this live app and try submitting it and seeing if it works. And yeah, that worked. So basically this regex basically just checks that this um, number here is given as digits and not given as a string. So that's why this fails right here. I'm not going to go into the complexity of how this regex works. Um, so yeah, that's that. So that again, those are the right answers. So you can just submit them to pass this test.